Hello Kaguro! Welcome to another video. In this Google Classroom video, titingnan natin kung paano gumawa ng quiz para sa ating mga sojante. Tara! So, nandito ako ngayon sa aking Classroom account. First, let's click Classwork. And then, Create. Let's choose Quiz Assignment. And then, let's add Title. Okay? So, let's choose adding the similar fractions. Ayan. And then, Instructions. This is optional, but it's very important to give instruction to our pupils. So, let us find out if you can still remember how to add dissimilar fractions. Okay? So, sa ilalim, may blank quiz. So, later, papasok tayo dyan. But, let's add attachment. So, pwede tayong magdagdag or mag bigay ng attachment from Google Drive first. So, still in connected to the topic that we have given. So, adding the similar fraction explanation para naman may reference yung mga sojante natin. And also, we can add link. So, pwede tayong magbigay ng link from a website regarding sa topic na ibibigay natin. Example, ayan, paste lang natin dyan. So, add link. And also, we can also try adding a file. Okay? So, galing sa laptop mo, just click upload and then select files from your device. So, pwede tayong magbigay ng another explanation from the topic that you have given. Okay, so adding the similar fraction still explanation. Ayan, para madagdag natin doon sa ilalim ng mga reference available. Okay, and also, we can have attachment from YouTube. So, pwede tayong mag-paste uh, ng link from a YouTube video. Okay, so still uh, a video on how to add fractions with different denominators or that's the similar fractions. Diba? So, may mga reference na tayo sa ilalim. And take note, yung mga reference na nakalagay dyan, makikita yan ng mga sudyante mo. Okay? So, so kompleto na yung add natin. So, we can also have create. So, pwede tayo mag-create ng doc slides, sheets. Instead of doing that, punta tayo sa blank quiz. Dito tayo gagawa ng quiz sa ating mga pupils. Okay? So, papalitan natin yung title. Okay, oops. Erase natin yan. So, let's have adding the similar fractions. Okay. And then, form description. It's a review quiz. Okay. And then, let's have question number one. So, sa gilid po, may mga options tayo ng pagpipilian. So, yan. Um, let's try. Mag-multiple choice muna tayo. Question number one. What is the sum of four-fifth plus two-tenths? Ba? So, let's give option number one answer. One-half. Option number two, one. Option number three, three-fourths. And option number four, six-eighths. Okay? So, ayan na. And then, meron tayong, ayan na, kompleto. So, answer key. Lalagyan natin ng answer key dyan later. But before, bibigyan muna natin ng points. So, depende yan kung gano'ng kahirap yung tanong mo. So, eto medyo madali lang. So, bigyan natin siya ng one point lang. Okay? So, one point lang tayo. Of course, the answer is one. So, yun na yung answer key natin. And we have add feedback. So, if the pupil got incorrect answer, pwede mong lagyan ng no.
it's wrong. Ayan. So, may attachment or may video, pwedeng ganon. Or, watch the video for the explanation. At least, alam nila bakit mali yung answer nila. Ganon, di ba? Okay? And then, click the video. What if they got the correct answer? Or simply just put good job or great job or very good, ganon, and save. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa first question. Okay, and feedback for correct answers, meron na tayo. Meron na tayong feedback for incorrect answers. Click done. Okay, so dito sa ilalim merong required. So i-click mo lang yan. Okay. Kasi kailangan maansira nila ito bago sila mag-proceed to the next number. Okay? So, itong tatlong dot, meron tayong options dito. Just click shuffle option. Okay. So, next tayo, proceed tayo sa next question. Question number two. Now, we can choose options for our quiz number two. Okay, let's try short answer. Ayan. So, eto walang mga options. They're just going to give the answer. Okay, question. What is the sum of 7 fourths plus 2 thirds? Ayan, bigyan natin ng answer key. Lagyan natin ng answer. Okay. Answer is, okay. And then points, medyo mahirap siya sa multiple choice. So, let's give 2 points for that. And then, bigay tayo ng feedback for correct and incorrect answer. And then, click save. And then, done. Done for question number two. And now, let's proceed to question number three. Ganun lang po, paulit-ulit. Okay, so pili ka na naman kung anong gusto mong options. And then, proceed ka na naman sa... Ayan. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa paggawa ng quiz. Okay? So, click mo yung responses. Diyan mo makikita kung nagsagot or nag-answer na yung mga sudyante mo. Okay? Ganun lang. So, meron na tayong quiz. So, nakagawa na tayo ng quiz. Okay? So, eto papalitan natin ng theme. Pipili tayo ng magandang theme. Hanap tayo. So, pwede mo etong lagyan ng mga pictures nyo, like class pictures, ganon. Para maging heading siya ng inyong classroom, ganon. Or quiz sa taas, ganon. Ito yung ginagamit sa survey. Okay, so marunong na tayong gumawa. Okay, ganon lang po kasimple. Ayan. So, X lang muna natin yan. And then, proceed tayo sa ating first page. Okay. So, i-assign na natin kung anong grade and section natin ibibigay yung assignment or yung quiz. All students, click. And then, points. Ayan. So, click tayo, assign or schedule. So, i-click natin yung assign. There you have it. Meron na tayong quiz. That's all, Kaguro. Maraming salamat po. Sana nagustuhan ninyo. And please comment down below kung ano pang video ang gusto ninyong gawin namin. Thank you po!